Welcome back to another Longshot StarCraft 2 broadcast. I am your host, Longshot. And this is Kaleida. And we're going to be dual casting this 1v1 between Bad Mofo and E Rock. Uh, this map is. Oh, gee, what map is this? <laughs> what map is this? Good question. Uh, I'm going to say Lost Temple? I think so, yeah. This looks, looks like, like Lost Temple. This I looks don't know like. If it's really. Yeah, from the backside, it looks like Lost Temple, you know, because. I like the backside. Mm. I like the backside, <laughs> baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's get back to this game, folks. Um, all right. So uh, we have E Rock. He's gonna be spawning in the left middle side of the map as Terran, and we have Bad Mofo gonna be spawning at the top of the map, top mid of the map as Terran as well. This still is gonna be a TBT matchup. Uh, and in game one, spoiler alert. Definitely check that out. Uh, in game one, uh, we had. Bad Mofo take it with the Mass Bio Army. That was a great matchup. That was a great game. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited for this game though. E are they gonna change their builds? Do you think, or uh, are they gonna go the same thing? I hope so, but I mean, with E Rock with that siege tank placement was horrible, and with <laughs> Mo with the huge mobility, definitely had the advantage on that game. Right. So we're gonna see gas first again for E Rock. So early tech, maybe the same tech. Maybe he's gonna do his stim push again, or maybe a different tech. We'll have to see. Yeah, he's. He, I, I'm not sure if this is a good. Uh, oh, is he gonna get blocked? No, I thought that maybe that SUV was gonna block that barracks, but Mo doesn't have the APM for that. Let's check out the APM tab. <laughs> oh, there we go, people. That's right. We're averaging. Iraq is averaging 30 APMs. While Bad Mofo is teetering at an 18 APM per minute. That's what I'm talking about, folks. As you can tell, these guys are not the pro players that we thought they were. But uh, Mo's going to be doing a great scout off in the base. Going to be trapped into the base of e -Rock, and he'll be getting a full scout. So e -Rock is not going to be able to put down any type of stuff until he gets that scout out of the base. So, Absolutely. He's definitely doing a tech build, so any time you already you still have an scv in your base you definitely don't want to be dropping more buildings because you don't want a clue <laughs> what the tech choice is and this scv is just giving up on life in this corner <laughs> oh man just completely getting annihilated by iraq not defending himself at all with his massive what, what kind of drill is this a fusion cutter not going to be able to do that but iraq is going to be taking the center of the map Oh. I like this build by Mo right now. This is actually great. He went one barracks. He has his tech lab. You know, he can get his Marauder to be safe at the front. And he's already taking an expo. Wow. Just getting that early economy. Uh, and right now, if we could take a look at the units, actually the Harvester count, Erok is going to be ahead in Harvesters for right now. But with that other expansion, it's going to be get, like closing that gap fairly shortly once he gets that expo up. Absolutely. It's actually... Uh, Sometimes players can do this where you cut SCVs in order to save up enough money to get your expo even faster, which in the long run you end up way, way ahead. So it's actually worth it to do that sometimes. Yeah. But Erock <laughs> is going to be getting his factory. I guess he lifted off that barracks from the front. He's going to be putting down a bunker. He's going to be turtling it up a bit, which I kind of like this move. This move is good. I mean, he's, he's, he's going for that huge tech build. He's got his two refineries up. Uh, and he's, oh, he's going to be putting down this starport. This is going to be that 1-1, one, one, or if all you Husky fans out there like that, that Destiny Cloud Fist build. That's right, folks. So it's, he's going to be getting that tech lab, and I'm kind of curious what he's going to be using that for. Banshees, almost certainly. I mean, there's no reason to go tech lab a Raven first, you know, with, with what, three Marines at the front. You're not, you're not going to get an advantage at all. And actually, this is very interesting because we have an econ build versus a pure tech build. And we're just going to have to see this Banshee actually has to do so much damage in order for this build to be viable right now. Yeah, w and he's going to be lifting up his starport, going to be g putting it down on that tech lab. And is he going to be get it? He's got that Banshee and that cloak starting. Oh, we're going to have some Banshee harass while this Marine is feeling balls to the wall. Feeling like he could take this orbital command out before it gets. That is going to take a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't suggest it, folks, but Bad Mofo's got his combat shields already up and ready. He's going to be pushing that one Marine out from his natural base. But Iraq knows that this that this base is down. 
and you know getting these banshees out it's i mean what what are, you, what are your thoughts i mean having the tech over the econ what what would what would well, you sacrifice well obviously in in starcraft the most important thing is economy that is the most important thing so it's actually incredibly critical for this banshee to do tons and tons of damage it has to because he's actually very very far behind cuz he's nowhere near taking an expo right now and Mo is going to be getting down his engineering bay, so he is prepping for an early harass, or s either he's going to be getting those turrets, or he's going to be getting, you know, uh, early upgrades for his bio army, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough for this one Banshee by the... Ah, it looks like this is just pure good game sense by Bad Mofo. He's getting the turret as soon as the Banshee shows up, basically. Oh, but the Banshee is going to be taking out these SUVs at the <coughs> gas, and I like this play. This play is genius. Why? Because he he gets those SCVs off the gas. Going to be taking out that one SCV. Oh, oh! It's so close. How many percentage is that? Oh, two more seconds. And he would have had that uh, missile turret up. But now he's going to be repairing it. And that missile turret is going to be up. Oh, so that close. That was absolutely huge. Uh oh he Delayed that missile turret. And now Mo is kind of on the fence here. Like, he has to defend from these Banshees on two base. And he has very, very little to defend against it. He has a few Marines peppered here and there, one tank. That's not going to help at all. Oh, but the two Banshees are going to be coming in. They're on hold position. Going to be taking out two Marines. One more Marine. Oh, one Marine goes down. The other Marine goes down. All five Marines go down without getting hit by that uh, turret. And that's one thing about turrets you got to watch out, folks, for is that the range on them is very short, but their detection is further. And that's right. something that you really have to watch out for. So you got to get those those units out into that detection range to take out yeah, those. Yeah, the, the units. range of attack is seven, but the detection is actually eleven, which is really far. <laughs> yeah. So all you. So players... we have eleven kills on these banshees right now. Yeah, total. Wow, eight and three. That guy's a hero banshee. Already a corporal. That's what I'm talking about. Where as these other guys are recruits hanging out with the big dog. That's so right. definitely, definitely worth it. That harass definitely did enough damage. Now let's take a look at the workers killed count. Wow, seven! Seven workers killed. That's just a lot of workers down. Uh, and Erock is supply blocked right now, but he is ahead in food. And he is committing to this Banshee. Like, he's making more and more, and they're all rallied to the side here. This is actually a lot of Banshees now. But Mo is going to be having this, ec you know, this economic lead i mean you could tell by the the econ tab that he's got tons of it oh but he's gonna be taking out so oh all of oh, these all these it, attachments are attachments. going down that's right oh the tech lab the reactors all go down they have no vision of this at all do they do they have vision no oh, look no at that oh but a couple of them are in that range but oh they he could even take out that that expo, or actually his, his main base, if he wanted to. Yeah, he definitely could have focused that down in enough time. Like, the Marines are only now getting here. Oh, oh, the, here they come! <laughs> but they're not going to be able to do enough damage for them. But, and uh, I believe Iraq is a little low on energy, so he's going to be waiting to get that energy back up and running. Yeah, I like this a lot. He's being very patient. He hasn't lost a Banshee yet. You know, they've all taken a decent amount of damage but he always pulls away just in time saves the banshee yeah He's super super patient about it yeah and with mo losing 15 units and now 10 workers oh that's so that's so far behind it's terrible <laughs> but i mean he can lose this though he i mean he can lose like the workers because he's got that econ build going for him right but mo actually is ahead by eight workers even after all that that's that's amazing. This is the power of having a second expo early. Yeah. And E-Rock, we're not seeing any kind of economical viability here. He's just hanging out on one base. Mass, mass banshees in the base right now. <laughs> yeah. Dropping tons of mules to just get ahead. Finally getting his orbital command. Going to be putting it down at his natural. And Mo... So here comes a push by Mo. That's... He wants to check out, see if, like... Is there anything else but banshees in that base? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but I, I, I'm not sure if this army can really take out all of those banshees. I mean, ba I mean, I understand stim, and he doesn't even have stim yet. Wow, just oh, going to be double expanding from Iraq though. This is very, very interesting. Yeah, he's finally realizing, oh, I'm way behind economically. I need to take a third orbital and just go hide it somewhere. 
Now, what are your thoughts? I mean, if he actually did an engagement with these Banshees on top of this, on top of these units, he could pretty much wipe out, like, the entire Marine tank yes, army. Yes, uh, Mar Banshees actually outrange Marines a little bit because they can pull away and they're flying. So he can actually pick apart all of the Marines and then just clean up the tanks later. But we have another engagement, folks. The Mar the Banshees are actually going to be taking out this third expo from... Wait, what? No, what? No, what? don't leave. What are you doing? <laughs> no! Don't leave. Oh, my gosh. He's, he, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, is it actually going to be burning? Oh, he's going to defend the push at the front. That's why he... he oh, but I, I don't even agree with that. Yeah, oh. there's four Marines at the front. It's actually fine. Well, he's exactly. actually... like two Oh, there. nice scan by Mo. Couldn't Absolutely, be putting but the down energy was that already, scan, you know? but I mean, it's, it's, I mean, there's so many Banshees, it's not even worth it. Still has not lost a Banshee yet. Gosh, Mo but... still has his... his yeah, now he's, now he's repairing it. it. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, though? Now he's repairing his uh, command center. Oh. Yeah, that was actually a huge mistake to not pick that off before leaving. I mean... There's no reason to do that because he uh, he still has his expo. Like no damage was done at all. <laughs> nope, and it's it's brand spanking new. It just came out of its uh, orbital wash, and uh, <laughs> you know it's on its spin cycle, about to drop a mule hopefully soon, and uh, he's gonna be taking his third. Hope you soon. Come on, Mo, take your third. Ah, but you know. I think he's a little afraid. Like I don't think he thinks it's safe right now to take a third, which is I mean, look arguably at true. I mean, there's so much mobility and map control with this giant amount of banshees that he can't do anything about until he gets enough Vikings to to put a stop to this. And he's still making medevacs out of the starport, yeah. this reactor starport. So I'm I'm a little confused why he hasn't ramped up the Viking production tremendously to deal with this big big problem of. You know, 12 Banshees roaming around the map, taking out everything. I think the reason why is because if you take a look at how many turns this guy's got in his base, is utter <laughs> ridiculous. It's redonkulous, people. Yeah, I this mean, is actually <laughs> turret overkill right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even. Really I can't even. I can't even capture how many turns he's got. <laughs> he's got so many turns, even at his at his expo. It's just hilarious. I mean, I mean, it, it, look at that. That's that's nine nine turrets in the main and three or. Er, Five at the expo. But no, the, way, way more. Eight at the expo. <laughs> but the Banshees are feeling confident. They're act they're going to be coming into the, the uh, main one base. One shots that turret. But uh, oh. I don't, I, they're not going to be able to do anything against all of those turrets. And that's why Mo's going to feel safe in that. I mean, he's banking a ton of energy on his orbitals. I'm not sure if, what he's going to be using that for. <clears throat> Mules. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's probably a little nervous. You know that's legitimate. There's cloaked Banshees attacking all over the place. You never know, especially if he's planning to push out right now, you're going to need scans the whole way to his base. Yeah. So it's not a bad idea to be saving up energy right now. Yeah, and uh, Erock is putting on the upgrades. We can already see him getting his level 1 level one armor and attack. So, sorry about that. And uh, <laughs> we got the stim and the weapons for air. Interesting. I'm not sure about that, though. I mean, he's... He really did overcommit to these banshees, but maybe he should tech switch to something else because he knows that it's not working with all that defense. Right, he should definitely be uh, considering. I mean, he has a lot of barracks here, so he can definitely start ramping up his bio immediately, and that's probably why he's getting all those upgrades, just to make sure his bio army is as strong as it can be early on, but... Definitely uh, overcommitted to those banshees a little bit. Like, they're going to be pretty useless from now on until Mo takes a third base. Which looks like it's occurring right now, but he's also spamming <laughs> oh all God. over. What is this? <laughs> it's the ring of turrets. <laughs> 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 Gonna be putting down his uh, other base, but he sees this. Uh, Iraq is gonna be pushing in with his uh, banshees nice, cloaked in, change. but the scan goes down. Gonna be pushing those banshees back away from his natural base, and <laughs> gonna be taking out that poor marine just kind of on the low ground. Sad guy. But he's still going to be keeping on harassing with these uh, Banshees. He's going to try to find an opening, but with the scans, it's just going to take them all out. Wow. I mean, and plus they yeah, have their yeah, level 1-1 one, one upgrades. Up. <laughs> he's just Only gonna... three Banshees left. I know. It's uh, uh, He could have used this maybe later on, but I think maybe what he's trying to do now is free up his food count. I know that's kind of like not the, the most efficient way to free up your food count, but... Uh, no, you never want to be losing expensive gas units. <laughs> for 